it's the wish again. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's uh, yeah. I don't know what it's called in English. Bruik. Uh, a wig. Whip, wig. A wig. A wig. Um, so it's uh, gonna be short again. Nice color and a um, totally different haircut, I yeah. think. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> but certainly short. Certainly short. Okay, will you turn so you can see how your hair is now? Thank you very much. Yeah. Hello friends, thank you for watching again. Of course, as always, I start with protection, like I always do. And we usually really lost short hair. So, and that's always nice to do. In the Netherlands, it's not that problem, because uh, girls around here have ultra short hairstyles. But I hear a lot of comments that they think uh, that women look like boys, but Give me a girl that looks like a boy, it doesn't matter, still a girl. <laughs> so don't worry about that. I never change the, the poisonous that beneath it. It's just hair. And who knows who is wearing a wig and has a bald hairstyle beneath it. Start with wetting the hair, a little bit moist into the hair. And start on the sides because we're going for ultra short sides and neckline. That we'll do afterwards. Starting on the, on the sides, take my clipper to the back, starting in the neckline, make my first line free. This is about two millimeters. I want to lay the clipper flat, so it's about 1.8 millimeters. Put my blade in the sharpest position, use it as a comb. And create myself a bit of under shape. Let's make it quick. Always watch how the hair flows on the head because there's always a wave into the hairs in the implant. So now you see that this is really short now. Again, put my blade to the back, go in till I get on the skull bone. Put my blade in the sharpest position and start combing with the blade. Create myself a nice soft overflow from the neckline. Then lay the clip up flat on the skin and create that nice sharp but still feminine underline. Then I go back. Create something with my comb. This is an ultra flat comb so I can always get near to the skin but the nice thing is I can make also directions with it go standing so I can see from above get rid of the lines Creating a little bit more length on the upper parts of this under shave and side shave because then I have a nicer grow back of the hairs. Take already a little bit off of the length on top. Then I go standing, put my blade to the back and come from the short li line into the longer line that's laying above it and just coming so I get rid of the hard things. I can still see into the lines. 
to create this line over of the soft. You can always adjust the blade when you think it needs to be a little bit shorter, you take it to a shorter position. This is my first side. Clean it. Now I first finish this, so I'll take my small clipper. Clean the neckline and the contour. Make no hard lines in this hairstyle, so also the contour will stay ultra nicely and softly. It's not a man's hairstyle. So I hold this line ultra soft, so it flows from nothing into something. I will zoom in in this line so you can see how nice this looks and how soft this line is. And I'll turn her in the meantime so you can see what the difference is between the left side and the right side. So you see how nice soft the lines are, also to the neckline, and I work till I get on the center of the skull. So there you see the difference in length. So this, in my feeling, this is not less feminine than this is, but for a lot of you are, doesn't matter, we in the Netherlands think this is also beautiful on girls. Ja, ik zie de mooiste hart, hè? Ja, dat zie ik wel, ja. Geweldig. Ik vind het ook mooi. Ja. Kijk hoe je lettekentjes had, die zat daar. Oké, okay, coming to the left side. Some hair aside, hold hair in the front afterwards a little bit longer. I have to take care of a little scar that's laying beneath this. It's not much, but it is laying a scar, so you can always see this in the dark hair. We can always do also something exciting with colors. I would like to cut that. So now I put, took a clip and now I come and work the rest out. Starting again with my blade to the back in the underlines, working on, watch at the color shades. So see it's a little thing that go in and then I have to go in also with my blade. The underline is about two millimeters what I told you. Then put my blade totally to the sharp position. Go in in the underlines. Put it back again. Get rid of the shades I can see. Take one comb. The nice thing of a comb is you can push on the hairs so you can set them in the position you want them to cut. That's mostly nice to do. Now you see there's an overflow of the line, but that I do by taking the blade to the back, starting just beneath the line I can see, and come into the position where I ended with my uh, comb.
working on the upper hand. Put my blade to the back again. Come with my clip of the line out. The flatter I lay it, the shorter it is. In the sharpest position, I only do the underlines. Position my blades softly to the back so I can have that more diversity in length of the blades. Cleaning in between. Now only you do have to do the front. Go to the other side. Me too. Me too. <laughs> you too. Me too. <laughs> you too. Take my clip, clip off the back out of the hairs. Set the lower hair aside. Start with my white comb. Connect the back to the front. By pulling the blade in the between to the back, you clear the blades of hair. Put it in the longest position, come into the line I just created. The more I lay the clip of flat on the skin, the shorter the hair is. You don't have to force anything because when you do it easy and you just watch what the hair does, you always get the best lines. This is the sharpest position. First start with common, then lay it flat. So now I have myself a nice clean underline. Just have to work with a small clipper. Small clipper will lay also flat on the skin. Get rid of the hairs I don't need. Make no hard lines in it. Holding it in an angle behind the ear. And also on the neckline. Clean this and then I'm going to work on the upper hair. Ah, this is why he likes to put it good. Yeah, like. Yeah. Okay, coming to the upper hair. Water the hair to make sure it's moist. I'm going to leave a little bit length on the front, but certainly go over short on the top. Can do a lot with wax and clays. Started on this line already with the clipper, so I know where I want to go. And I want to get rid of the height of the skull. So when I go down here in length, the skull looks smaller. Turn a bit so you can see where I start. I start around here, so just above the fall of the skull. Here I create my first line. This will be short. Take every time about half centimeter hair. Lay it aside. Go over to the center. It's my, only my first guideline. And she has a lot of hair. <laughs> and strong hair. You can hear this on the blades. You can hear when the blades need to work 
to get through the headers. Go back to the line I started. Now you can see one. This is short. The skull will certainly look smaller. This is not high up. <laughs> Still high. Go back to the first line. Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> It's always nice when you're feeling lonely and somebody uh, <laughs> makes a sound. <laughs> I just call, I'm coming. I'm not alone anymore. I don't feel that way. <laughs> Blow the horn, baby. I'm coming. <laughs> we will come. Yeah? We will come. Yeah. Go over the center line. And have a length from about uh, two fingers thick, so that's about two centimeters, still almost an inch. Not more than that. Waiting in between. Coming to the back. Turn it so you can see what I'm doing. So I'll work till I get around here. And I'll first finish my run. I have friends. <laughs> You've got mail, sir. When I get over, I also twist the rod. So I twist the hairs into the line where I think they need to go, otherwise they stick up again. And I don't want that. So I make my own roundings in it. Just like you do with clay, no hard lines. Just see what the hair does and what the hair tells you. Go back to the first line. It's also like a cross control. You always come back to the line you started with. Minor corrections to sm some small parts and stick the other way around. Now you see the thickness of the hair. With that I can adjust by thinning it out. I think it's very important to wet the hair a bit in between. So you can see what the hair does. And this is all more, more to bend because then you can bend the hairs and shape them the way you want. I never wash the hair in front, if only when they are very dirty then I have to. But normally I want to see what the hair is when somebody comes in and how it looks. Because then I can make a real good hairstyle. And when I wash it, the hair is uh, yeah, just hanging down. I never see the natural sh yeah, shapes of the hair. And I don't know how a person is that came in. So I always want to see the first what I'm going to do and what hair I have to do. Go back over the same line like I did on top. Hold myself a bit length here to cover up that small spot. That scar face. <laughs> now it's not a scar face. Not that I need like mix. Scary face. Go back to the first line. What I'm going to do now is gonna work all the hairs to this line as long as I can. So I take the hairs up, take them to the first line, see the line beneath it, and create a new length using the shapes that are already made. 
the more I go to the other side with taking up hair, the longer the hair will be. So now you see you have an overflow of the length also. So you get a nicer fold into that line and it's also looking flatter. Now I have myself a guideline, because the guideline I cut is laying here, you can see it. So now I'm going to adjust the length to the other side. Pin out with my fingers, take out the line I want to cut. I find it a very easy way to do. I do it in slow motion. Lay the hair back, take with two fingers, my finger and my thumb. The hair is up and I have myself the part that I want to cut. This goes normally so fast that you don't even see it or recognize it. But my son <laughs> told me once when he was starting to learn the profession, what are you doing that with the finger? And then I noticed that I did that. So I learned it myself. And he does it also. Turn a bit, go to the longer side. Starting in the back, take the hairs up on the line of cutting, lay them in the skull lines. So watch at the natural shapes of the skull because I want to get shorter on the back and I want more length in the front. So, go in, adjust the lines, lay them in the rug, bend them to the back, adjust the length. You can see the thicker spots in the hair, because here for example is a thick spot, you can see this, the hair is more together and here is more freedom in the hair. So that I adjust with thinning out. Thinning out almost till I get on the scum. So she has a lot of fun of it in a long time. Twist my fingers around. Start to make first lines to the back. My fingers lay now in the position of the eyebrow bone. Just the opposite line of the chin line. When I put my, would have longer fingers, I put this line through to the other side, I would come on the chin line. I just the line a bit. Part myself the front away. So now I have to find myself a way from the longer side because this we want to keep longer to that line. So I can freehand style cut this line. So I first have a baseline to work on. Then I go in again. Lay the hairs in the position where I want them to go. Give them a slight graduation. This is pulling the hairs up and pulling them over my fingers. So get more a rounding into the hair style. This way I can bend hairs in a position where I want them to be. Point cut, connecting the lines. Take the longer hair on it. Find myself the guideline, go to the guideline. Going to the front, turn a bit. So, yeah. Take first the part that's laying on the front, like a fringe. Position my hand. In my thought, I bring it also in a curve. 
so I can already see the lines on one cut. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Pr try to feel the lines. Not only see the lines, but try to feel the lines. When you feel the lines, cutting of hair is much nicer to do because then you're going to watch at ears, you're going to watch at the normal, normal lines of the person. And the nice thing of that is that every person is a person on herself or on her, himself and always is different than the other person you did. Even when they are twins, they are not the same. So your life as a hairdresser is much nicer to do. And the profession is nicer. So now I have myself the best line on this short hairstyle. So now I can go tilling it out. Took myself a ultra fine thinning scissor. Hollow blades, it's a Kiona scissor. Lift the hair up with my comb, find the thick spots, go in, lay my scissor flat on the skin. And the nice thing is with this thinning scissor you can also go out so he never gets stuck into the hairs. And it never creates straight lines because uh, it's a bit like sharp teeth. You see a bite but it's never a straight line. Even when I would go in like this, you don't see a straight line because there's a curve into the blades and the teeth are all different. And just adjust the lines. This you do by watching into the hairs and see how much air there is between the hairs. When it's a thick, flat thing, it's not a hairstyle. The part where I have to have a little bit more length for the scar, I just thin it out a bit. And I go to the short side, take my long scissor, lay it in. And you see when I put this scissor in, this is the length of the hair. Go down, because there I was down, deep under, in the hairs. You see a beautiful, strong hair, so I can do this. Soften the upper lines. Soften the spot on the scar. And for those of you who uh, have this problem, with, uh, mostly guys have this, when they have dark hair and the skin is that light, you take an eyebrow pencil and just color it in, then you don't see it, I can show you. So here lays the scar. So when I take an eyebrow pencil and color this in, I go over with my finger, you don't even see it anymore, so now it's gone. So this way you can hide scars in a short hair. Remember that. Are you going to feel reactions after your capsules? Heel veel. Yeah. I see that you're drinking. That's the other here, yeah. Yeah, look at that, eh? Yeah, it's actually super leuk. Een kapper hebben die, die zegt, zet alle pruiken maar op. Ja, doe ik ook gek. Ja. Okay. Cleaning in between, turn. Oh, I love it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. So now I can make her a color. And I think I'm going for an orange color. Wat gaan we doen? Oranje. Ik vind het helemaal goed. Ik ga even naar korte lijn. Ik vind het helemaal goed. Oké, okay, met de color. Ik heb een collage van Lac May. Het lijkt like this. Ik gebruik de 8 voor 9. Dat is een real copper tone. En in de andere lines ik put in de rest over een little bit 3 0 0. Dat is brown. Ik maak dit met 12%, dat is 40 volume. Dus het light up. And it's already a light color. 
Certainly the rats will work with it, but it's not a problem because I think that's funny about making colors in the same line. It's always nice when you see a little bit back of what it was. So it'll work till the kettle on the part with her hanging over the undershave. So only the left side for her is disconnected, but that by a centimeter, so it's not much. It's almost a half inch. Make sure there's enough color on the hairs. You see already the copper color is going to develop and get her into a lighter shade. Take a little bit of the 300. Put this, put this in the bowl. It's that amount. You can see laying light, not developed yet. Mix this really good into each other. Don't need extra developer because your yeah, forge volume is enough. 12 is enough. This apply on the short hair. Steeds ja, dat is niet normaal. Ja, toch heet het niet zoveel in Nederland hoor. Nee, het valt eigenlijk wel mee, hè? Ja. Ja, de poel wou het ook allemaal op, hè? Ja. Ik bedoel, we hebben nou een winter. Ja, niks. Als we kind bent vijf hebben, dan, dan zit iedereen nee. binnen met een reet op de kago. Ja. <laughs> veel vies in ons, hebben veel van die mensen die stoken alles. Oh, dat is stinkt, hoor. Nee, we hebben alleen hout. Echt alleen hout. Ja. Gewoon hout. Geen... Uh... Soft on the line. Just in the overflow of both lines. Then I take a carton wick. Clean of course first the parts on the skin. That I don't have to get rid of afterwards. The part of carton wick in the underline, so it don't flows. On the front are they also apart, on the ears, and the rest never argues together. <laughs> so, stay cool. There's a close up, we go for a coffee or tea, and you just wait here, we're back in a second. Gonna take uh, 25 minutes for this call. Don't go away. <laughs> okay, back from coloring. I see it as a totally different call. So now I'm gonna use uh, a smooth product because this hair needs moist, and in smooth products, it's a lot of moist. Did some massage into the hairs. And now I'm gonna dry it with my fingers. Because I don't want too much volume in this hairstyle. Super mooi product met uh, haar olio. Dit, dit kapsel. Oké. Okay. Hij heeft het plant ook zo. Crystal Turn is ook heel mooi van uh, Goldraal. Dus kijk wat je eigen haarkleur is opgelegd. Als je dat dan ziet aan die uh, onderlaag. Ja, onderlopen. Voor sofa blow drying. I'm gonna make a combination between uh, uh, 
uh, oil, hair oil, and a, um, a, a, a wax product because I need to glow and I need to shine. I take a crystal turn of gold oil. This the mouse. And I'm going to use a flansa oil. Those are mixed into each other. Put it in the opposite lines. So you can also wear this like this. <laughs> you can play with the hairs a lot. That's the nice thing about this hairstyle. To get that volume broken, I just use my fingers as a comb and wiggle so I get nice lines into the hairstyle. And this new hairstyle and new comb for Wies. I thank you for being my model, I thank you for watching. Protection. And she will certainly turn to show you the end result. And I thank you for watching. Till next time. Ja, even schat, een mag rondje draaien. Ja, leuk hè? Super. Ja. Yeah. Heel gaaf. Hallo, it's the Wies again. Ja, um, yeah, as you can see, it's ja, uh, yeah, I don't know what it call in English. Bruik. Uh, wick. 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 A wick. wick. Um, so it's uh, gonna be short again, nice color, and a um, totally different haircut, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> but certainly short. Certainly short. Okay, will you turn so you can see I how your hair is now? Huh. Thank you very much.